What's up guys, Rory here from the Pixel Press again, bringing you another dolphin comparison video. We've been getting some awesome feedback from the last video, I think one guy even said he had goosebumps, so thank you very much for that kind sir. So I thought we'd carry on in a similar vein, not only that, but this is one of the most requested games we've had, and it is of course Twilight Princess for the Wii. Now I know there was quite a gap between the releases of our last two videos, so I'm trying to make up for lost time now and just bang these out as quickly as humanly possible. Hopefully that won't affect the quality of the videos. If you feel it does, please let us know because that is the last thing that we want. Alrighty then, a few of you in the last couple of videos have mentioned how the standard definition footage was looking a bit dark, so this time we have actually edited a little bit in a few of the darker scenes, we've brought the brightness up. Unfortunately that seemed to have messed with the colours a little bit so they look a bit washed out but hopefully that's a decent trade-off for the improved visibility. Now I know this game is like 6 years old now but man I was surprised at how bad it looked hooked up to a 32 inch TV. Jaggies everywhere! Like jaggies you could cut your face open on it was horrible. And guys I love this game but seriously some of these textures would not look out of place on Nintendo 64. Now. For that reason, Twilight Princess isn't quite as impressive as something like Wind Waker or Skyward Sword, simply for the fact that it's just re-rendering those assets at a higher resolution rather than introducing new ones. They're still the same crappy textures. An old British saying comes to mind here, you can't polish a turd, and that is certainly true in this case. Dolphin is awesome, but it is not magic. I mean, I believe there is a high-res texture pack somewhere on the internet for this game, but that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So we will not be using that, as that would be dishonest. So, go, go, Gadget Dolphin. Honestly, upon reflection, I think I may have been a little bit harsh on Twilight Princess. It's not a turd, it's a lovely person. Considering the scope of the game and the fact that it was built on 10-year-old hardware, it's actually quite impressive. Not to mention the fact that it had to fit on a 1.4 gig mini disc. It's no surprise that some of the textures look as they do. And I actually like this art style, I think it works for this game. The dungeons are fantastic, some of the best in the series in my opinion. The bosses are really fun. And I really like the tone they struck for the game, it had a really brooding dark atmosphere, which I enjoyed. And some of the environmental design is phenomenal. Anyway, you guys know the drill by now, 2560 by 2112 that's the internal resolution. So it's rendering at a resolution that is higher than what my TV can actually display. Well, what's the point in that, you might think? Well, if you just think about it, if you take the Wii's native resolution, for example, which is 720 by 480 pixels, and you blow that up to a screen which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and, well, you're asking for trouble, really. However, on the flip side, if you render in a resolution that is higher than your TV, you're effectively doing the opposite. And this is called downsampling, or ordered grid supersampling anti-aliasing. And this is why Dolphin games look so clean and there's no jagged edges. Now a lot of people will just assume that the higher resolution the screen, the higher quality that the image will be, but it's totally dependent on the source that's being fed to that screen. That's why Wii games look so horrible on massive TVs. And that's why normal TV channels look awful, that's why you have to get Freeview HD and Sky HD. I was having a bit of a discussion with a guy on Miiverse the other day actually, because I said that Black Ops 2 looks better on the gamepad than on the TV, which it does. Let me explain why. Black Ops 2 on Wii U and on Xbox 360 and PS3 runs at 880 by 720 Now if you're blowing that up to a 1920 by 1080 display, you're going to get jaggies. Now the Wii U gamepad screen is only 480p, but the Wii U produces two frame buffers, and the one that the Wii U gamepad receives is actually the same resolution that the TV receives. So, down sampling, you get free anti-aliasing, and the game looks much sharper, much smoother, and much cleaner on the gamepad than it does on your TV. Anyway, that's enough technical mumbo jumbo from me for one day, I think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you guys would like to keep up to date with my productions, or you would like to suggest the next game, the best way to do that will be to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to leave my Twitter handle on the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Also, I will leave my Nintendo Network ID for anyone who wants to add me on Wii U. And I think that's about it. Thank you once again, guys. Take it easy, have a great week, and I will catch you later.